Well, it looks like you guys are making some great progress this morning. I'm really impressed. Looks really good. So uh, we're here at 1030 now, and so we're going to invite uh, Adam Andrews to come on and uh, talk a little bit about his project that he's working that he's been working on. And, uh, you know, uh, I can't remember now. Uh, Adam, are you are you on there? I see yeah. Can you hear me? OK. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. You All know? right. Yeah. How are well, you? Thank you? Great. How are you guys doing this morning? Looks like we've got a lot of. A lot of uh, production going on there. That's great. Oh, isn't that awesome to see? Especially, it, it's kind of happening where where I'm standing right now, virtually, literally in all directions. It's kind of neat that you know, out east are building, north, south, west. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm uh, in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. So Kenosha, if you don't know where that is, it's about halfway between Milwaukee and Chicago. So right right in the heart of the Midwest on the uh, on Lake Michigan. Um, I'm building a Super Duty, of course, and I started this project. Um, well, I started my rotor kit just like you guys are doing. I started that about a year ago. I actually ordered the kit. Uh, I was in the process of moving, but I ordered the kit and I started on it in my uh, old house in the garage and got the kids involved. and And it kind of set aside for a little while, and you know, life got in the way for a little bit. And we took, uh, we moved, and some other things happened, but. Um, now I'm in my new workshop and um, the, the fuselage and the airframe kit came about two and a half months ago, I would say. So what you see behind me here is, is the work of, you know, a couple months worth of work. Uh, and that hasn't been like full time work. It's been, you know, every you know, time that I can get out here. Uh, but like most people, you know, you have things get in the way. You have work, you have family and, and things like that. So um, I do have a YouTube channel that I'm kind of documenting this on. Um, you know, I did a lot of research, like I'm sure a lot of you did. And, uh, you know, there's lots of beautiful aircraft out there. If you're an aviation enthusiast, um, you know, you, you probably like everything that flies like, my, like myself. So I did a lot of looking, but when you start narrowing down for me, it was, it was you know, what was my mission? Um, you know, cost is a factor. Um, what do I want to carry in it? Where do I plan to go? Uh, I just kept coming back to the Zenith. And when the Super Duty came out, and had the option of the third seat, um, even though we may not always put somebody back there, just having the extra space and the, the weight capacity, it kind of said, hey, that's the one I'm going to do, and, and then I move forward with it. So it's been an exciting build. Um, I don't come from, I come from an, a large aviation background, but not a um, construction uh, background of aircraft. So I'm just as new of a builder as anybody in this workshop today. And, um, you know, like like the kit and like the advertising and all the brochures say, you know, the match hold drilling and all that, it, it's definitely there. Um, you know, you do have to clean up some holes here. You have to deburse some things like we've already been shown earlier in uh, the, the webcast today. But for the most part, uh, to be able to get to this, you know, level, this uh, length in the process in this short amount of time is pretty amazing. So, um, like I said, I am documenting on my on my website. It's Aeroworks Productions, or actually my YouTube channel. Um, and that's one thing. A, a challenge for me is, um, as you're building an aircraft like this, um, you know, you're trying to focus on the the plans, the instructions, and building it. And then I'm also focusing on trying to document it so that not only do I have a record, but hopefully other builders like yourselves can maybe say, "Hey, I caught one little thing that Adam did, or he brought this up, or you know, that's that's always kind of been my plan." So. For every hour I say that I'm in the workshop, I'm probably spending about two hours videoing and editing and trying to figure out what the best angle would be and things like that. So it kind of slows my process down a little bit, but hopefully in the end, you know, when this project gets complete, um, you know, it will help, it'll help everybody. And I know people like Mark that are doing the same thing with his previous build and now his Super Duty build. You know, I think, and the inter interesting thing with us is we're kind of both at the same point but Mark started with his wings and I started with the fuselage. So you're kind of getting the whole aircraft going together at the same time. Um, and then hopefully we'll switch and we'll kind of pick up little things from each other and that'll hopefully help everybody else. So, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It's been a lifelong dream for me. Um, you know, I've been getting my kids involved in that. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's great. Um, right now today I'm actually, I'm working on uh, finishing up my uh, rudder pedals 
And um, I'm, I've actually got the lower bearing support and you may not know what all these parts are yet, but there's a lower bearing support that supports the front nose strut. And I've got that getting painted right now over in the booth over here. So once that dries, I'm gonna get that bolted up. I'm gonna finish up my uh, brake pedals and then get the firewall on, which I do have completed. Um, and then keep pressing on with kind of completing everything in the front end uh, with the goal of getting this on its wheels and off this workbench behind me so that I can then bring out the wings and start assembling the wings. So that's kind of where I'm at in the build. Um, does anybody have any questions or I know I've been kind of rambling on here for a few minutes, but. No, that's great. That's great. No, we appreciate you, Adam, and, and all that you're doing. And like you say, you know, it's really a good time for, for builders, whether they're just getting started or looking at getting started, because having you and, and, and Mark uh, out there building and, and documenting and taking the time to do that, we're really fortunate to have you have you out there to do that. And again, we thank you for that because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a real benefit, I think, uh, to, to other builders. And, and again, it's just a testament to the, to the, to the strength of the Zenith community having folks uh, like you out there helping each other and, and willing to help each other out. And like you say, uh, you know, you're probably spending more time on video production than you actually are on, on aircraft construction. So, so we appreciate it uh, for, all that, for all that you do. And, um, and, and again, one nice thing about posting these videos is that when, when you post a video, it'll be out there in the, you know, in the YouTube uh, universe for, yeah. for many years that, and, and you'll be helping builders uh for many years hopefully with that so, so again, right for, for what you're doing yeah and i appreciate like i said if, if it wasn't for the support of zenith at the factory you know roger and sebastian everybody there that takes the phone calls answers the the late night emails you know that's that's another huge factor in me choosing uh zenith aircraft was because of the support you know there's a lot of other great companies out there you know, that have either tremendous weights or, you know, week long support call, you know, and when you're out and, and like all of us, we've all got life, you know, we have jobs, we have families, you know, we got other things going on. So when you get that hour or two hours at night to sneak out to the shop and work, and then you run into an issue and you've got to wait a week for an answer, you know, so it's a bust. But, you know, I, I don't think I've ever waited more than less than 24 hours to get an answer. Most of my time, I'm typing an email at one o'clock in the morning and then by, you know, 7 a.m. I'm getting an answer. So that's a testament to, to Zenith and the support that you guys have there at the factory. So it's uh, wow. you, know, you guys are on the everybody on this call on this web webcast is you're all on the right team because we're all going to end up helping each other. And I think I want to mention also, along with the videos on, on the YouTube, if you know, if you search AeroWorks, um, I did start a uh, Zenith Super Duty Builders group on Facebook, there are some, there's definitely uh, other Zenith groups. There's a Zenith aircraft, there's Zenith builders and flyers, but I kind of wanted to get, you know, just super duty builders together because I thought, I thought that, you know, why not run, you know, maybe small things that we might run into past each other without having to filter through all the other types of aircraft that you guys make. So if you guys haven't joined that, jump over there. It's like I said, it's Zenith super duty builders group on Facebook. And again, we've got, I think we're up to like 70 or 80 members now. So um, you know, and we're posting pictures. I'm trying to post, uh, update the photographs, a lot of the construction uh, photos. So what I'm doing is when I finish a part, I'm creating a photo folder of a section of, you know, landing gear or wings or fuselage. And I'm putting those photos in there. So you might find a photo that might help you figure out which way a bolt goes or how a part goes on. Um, you know, the more information that we can have from all the sources, um, you know, like the e drawings, like we were shown earlier today, the actual drawings, um, the photos, the website, the YouTube, it's all there to hopefully get us to the end goal of getting these birds in the air. And that's where we, where we all want to be. So exactly. Yeah. And, and again, we appreciate, uh, appreciate you for doing that. And, and, you know, it's when you have groups and sharing information, uh, as builders, of course, that's an important, you know, you're supporting each other doing that. It's also um, helping each other uh, decide on how to configure their airplanes. Because again, when you're building yourself an airplane, you have a lot, many choices along the way that us as a factory, we're not doing for you. Uh, engine choices, right. avionics, even paint, upholstery, these types of yep. things, uh, which becomes an important support uh, group. You know, if you're spending, you know, hours presumably to, to research engines and so forth, you can share a lot of, a lot of your findings from your research. 
Um, yeah, you know, definitely. Every, every builder is going to be a little bit different than, than others. And so, again, we can just by sharing that information, uh, it really uh, becomes a benefit to, to other builders as, as well uh, at the same time. And then, of course, yeah. you know, once your once your airplane is done, uh, that's when the real fun begins. I always say is, you know, you know, you'll be flying the Super Duty, very very good off airport capabilities. There's a lot of places you'll be able to fly to, and uh, yeah. you know, and you may have, you know, made friends uh, with fellow builders in Utah, in California, uh, down in Florida, so that uh, when you are up and flying around, uh, you'll be able to go and visit those folks and. And, uh, and, and and really start exploring uh, what the capabilities of these airplanes are. Right, yeah, and and, and I, I'm originally from Anchorage, Alaska. My dad was a bush pilot, so I grew up, you know, with aviation right in the backyard. And uh, my dad now lives in uh, Utah, so that yeah. is one of my goals. Get this thing finished and start documenting and having fun creating videos with the Super Duty and flying all over the place and hopefully meeting up with some of you down the road that have your airplanes complete or visiting you in the middle of your build process, what have you. So, Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to, uh, again, not only follow you as you as you complete the airplane on your YouTube channel, but then, of course, you have uh, flying adventures after that. So, so again, yeah. thank you, Adam. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to, to, to join the, the, our little virtual workshop group. And, uh, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll be here throughout the day. So if you have questions or okay, anything. Thanks for having me. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.